Welcome to another episode of Barryman Saturdays, and this way I decided to take a look at Heavy Metal 2000, a film that seems to have really divided the fan base of the first movie. I admit that's not much of a surprise, though I will admit some of the people complaining about it are real drama queens, considering they describe this film as the worst animated film ever made. Like, ever. I'm like, have you seen Life is a Jungle? Amazon Jack? What's up? You know, there are way, way worse animated films than this one in terms of visuals and stories and character. You know, I suppose it's a story, but still, my, my point stands. This is nowhere near close to being the worst animated film ever made. It's not even the worst animated film of the time it came out, okay? I mean, I realize that 2D animation and 3D animation integration is not seamless in this movie. It's a lot like Titan AE. It stands out like a sore thumb and is hideous to look at. But that is not enough alone to make you the worst animated film ever. As far as the story goes, they only do one story with this movie, so it's a full-length movie focused on a single story, which is both a plus and a negative, I suppose, because... On the plus side, it makes it easier to follow. On the downside, this is a very bland story about, you know, a space pirate being pursued by a woman for revenge for murdering her entire colony and leaving only her as a lone survivor outside of her uh, kidnapped sister and some other people they kidnapped from the village but then murdered later anyway. So, yeah, it's your pretty standard typical revenge plot. Of course, my biggest gripe is that this movie has, you know, less character depth than the shorts in this movie, which is impressive. You have, you know, an entire feature-length movie to develop your characters, and they have less heart and soul than characters that were in a 10- to 15-minute short in the previous film. It's kind of incredible. But therein lies, you know, one of the many problems with this movie. You know, it's just it just doesn't have any soul to it. And then if you throw in the juvenile jokes it throws around sometimes, it's got, you know, even less going for it, because those juvenile jokes like, oh, lock and approach at A-N-U-S-6-3-7-0, you know, which means they spelled out anus, and that's a joke, right? Sort of like if I was playing a video game, like, oh, it says load, it says ding, like, that's not a joke, really. Like, like, is it supposed to be funny that if I look at, you know, the word loading, it has the word load in it like like seriously that's the best they could come up with I mean at least when they did the whole passport thing being U-R-F-U-K-D you can argue that saying you're fucked has multiple meanings here you know you got the obvious reference to you know sex which you know was something that popped up multiple times in this movie and you have the reference to the fact that she's about to get royally screwed over in a bar fight you know, where she's going to basically shoot the crap out of Tyler with a Gatling gun, only for him to drink, you know, his magic juice he's uh, distilled from her people, you know, because they contain a special chemical in their body that can apparently make you immortal, but they don't have enough of it for it to make him fully immortal, just heal his injuries real fast. So he drinks that, you know, gets back up, and then, you know, turns the tables on her and completely destroys her in a fight. So at least that had at least more than one meeting going for it, but the previous one, yeah, like, the joke is it says anus, so it's got some rather juvenile jokes, it doesn't have the darker edge of the jokes of the previous movie, so it's just like, yeah, I, I can get why people hate this, but to call it the worst animated film ever, that that's just going way too far. This is just sort of a bland, forgettable sequel that, you know, is something I just basically tell people to just just skip. I mean, if you find it in a bargain bin, you know, knock yourself out if you want, but you're probably going to barely remember the characters like a week later. Like, I could barely tell you the characters' names right now, and I watched it on Monday, and I'm recording this on a Wednesday, and I've basically already forgot the names of the characters. Locking approach. 